In the previous video, we have seen how to use try catch blocks to catch exceptions in Java. So this is completed. In this video, we will see how to use throws keyword. So throws keyword. Throws keyword is used to declare that a method may throw an exception. That means the compiler already knows that a particular method may throw an exception. In those cases, the compiler itself complains that, okay, you have to handle this exception. In those cases, we use throws keyword. An example is IO exception. So normally, whenever we are trying to create a file, this IO exception might occur. So in those cases, the compiler will complain that, okay, you have to handle this exception. And in those cases, we can handle the exceptions using throws keyword. So let's see an example on this one. Okay, I'm creating a new class here. So new class and I'm giving the name as throws example and I'm using main method. Now what I will do is I will try to create a file on K drive. I will use the class file writer. So this file writer is a class in IO streams which we will discuss it later. So for now just remember that using file writer we can create a file. So file writer and the object name is file equals to new file writer of I have to pass the path here so the path is in the k drive so k colon to backslashes data dot txt that means I am creating a text file data dot txt on k drive and it is throwing an error which is saying that import file writer so i am importing the file writer okay we will see about this error in, in a couple of minutes now once the file is created then i would like to write some text into that so i'll say file dot write i'll say supu so i'm writing the text supu into that and once that is done then i have to close this one so close so if you see this one it is throwing an error here. The error is add throws declaration or surround with try catch. And it is saying unhandled exception type IO exception. That means here the compiler already knows that this file writer might cause an exception which is IO exception. So it is saying that unhandled exception type IO exception. And two quick fixes it is suggesting. One is add throws declaration are surround with try catch so we can use add throws declaration so this is where we use throws declaration and these exceptions are called checked exceptions because the compiler already knows that a particular piece of code may throw an exception and it will ask us to handle those exceptions so here it is saying unhandled exception type IO exception so it is saying that Okay, these are the two quick fixes. One is add throws declaration and another one is surround with try catch. Now, so let's add the throws declaration. And once we click on add throws declaration, you can see that it is saying throws IO exception. It has added that one. And now the error is gone. Now, if you run this one, run as Java application. And since I don't have the K drive here, it is throwing the exception exception in thread main java.io.file not found exception k data activity the system cannot find the path specified because i don't have the k drive in my system now this program is ended here that means even if we write something after this let's say system.out.println and printing i okay it won't run this program this will just end there run as java application and it is still ending and it is not printing system that out of the it is not printing high but if you want to print if you want to continue with the statements after this one then we have to definitely use try catch blocks so let's use try catch blocks so i'm just removing this one 
throws I O exception. I will say this point out here and surround with try catch. So I am saying try catch and this is the line of code that is causing the issue. But okay, this one also it is saying that it is causing an issue. Okay, surround with try catch. So I am taking these two lines also. Control X and I am putting it here. I am putting it in the try block and catch IO exception. So this is what we have to do. Catch IO exception E and then instead of printing the stack trace, I will print my own message here. So system dot print again. Sorry. Problem with file. So let's run this one now run as java application and you can see that it is printing the exception message and it is proceeding with the next code also hi so if you want to proceed with next code you have to use try catch blocks or uh, if you don't want to use try catch you have to use throws keyword because these are checked exceptions and compiler won't allow you to proceed further even for compilation also without using the throws keyword or try catch block so this is how we can use a throws keyword in programming. In this video, we have seen how to use throws keyword for exception handling. If you want to download the document for this one, you can go to my repository at github.com slash subostech and then go to selenium iPhone java iPhone tutorials. And this particular tutorial starts with number 24B. And this is the document which is exceptions iPhone throws keyword and you can download this document. In the next video, we will see how to use throw keyword.